Okay, somebody asked how to make this transition where it went from a colored photo to a black and white, and I did it all in Create Studio. The theory, the idea behind this was really to um, kind of create a yearbook type of thing. So when it switched to the black and white was when the photo was being taken. That was the idea. So let me just show you very quickly inside the group. There's an awful lot going on. There's all the shapes for the backgrounds. There are text. There's videos that are happening. And then that transition into black and white to the color where we had the photo. Um, but let me, I won't go into all the components of that, but let me show you. We also did it with Danny and Bella, but let me show you very quickly how I did that. So the first thing I did was I went and I got a background and I tend to use the 3D a lot. So let me just see where the classroom is. Um, oh, I use that one. I'm going to click on it and expand it. And I did have the cubbies on the side. I showed this in another video, detach the mask to make it fit so I don't have all that extra, attach it again. Then I'm just gonna make sure it's centered. So I have my background. Now I'm going to go in and I am going to grab Alyssa. They changed the spelling of her name from the original to pro, but that's okay. I'm not going to resize her. I'm just going to leave her like that. I used party, so I'm going to do party. Um, the other thing that I'll just show that you can do is right here, you can see she's going from idle to the party motion. I just don't want to deal with the transition. So you can disable. So she just is dancing and partying the whole time. I will do the same with the ending animation. So what I did is I said, oh, let's find a, all right, that would be kind of a cute yearbook photo with the theme of what this was. So I'm going to select Alyssa. I'm going to cut so then I can move the rest of it away. And here is the end frame with her dancing. I want a screenshot of that. So I'm going to select all of these. I just clicked and dragged to select all. I use Command G. And I'm going to take a screenshot. I just right click on the image, take screenshot. And you can see that it are, it's right here in my project folder. The reason I grouped it, let me ungroup it, is if I took a screenshot here, it's just going to be Alyssa. To get the whole thing, you need to have the whole image grouped, take it, and then I ungroup it. So let's get rid of her. So now I'm going to bring the image that I, the snapshot that I took. You can see it's a little smaller. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to expand it. I am going to put that right in between where I cut it. So now it stops. and then it will go. Now, what I did is I just changed this, the screen, the snapshot I took. I'm gonna to go up to effects and components. I'm going to get filters. I'm gonna click and drag it on the image. And you have lots of different options. This is none, you can change it to lots of different options. I went to sepia, the black and white, doesn't work. But the sepia really does seem to make it more of that screenshot type of image. Um, although you can take the image 
out and do it in another editor if you want, but I just used what was in Create Studio and I liked the effect that it did. So we, there we go. And then she's gonna change back. What I also did just to do the, um, the sound of the camera, I just used this one. It was, I had to go in and look. So it can sound like the camera that you're doing. I might have to move that a little bit, maybe make it a little bit quieter, but that's the general idea of how you can change it and then it can change back.